Okay, let's look at a few basic real life examples. I often have centered headings. So this selector pattern, remember from the selector section that a comma means or match any of H1 or H2 or H3. Or another way of saying it is the properties apply to H1 and to H2 and to H3. This says make them centered. This says try the Verdana font first if it's installed on the end user system. If not, see if Arial is installed. If that's not installed, use Helvetica. If that's not installed, use whatever the default non serif font is. And I want the foreground color to be black. So that's the interpretation of this entry up here. And so that's why in many of my examples, my headings, even though I, the default alignment is left, come out centered and in a non serif font. You probably noticed earlier that I had a few web pages that had sort of a 3D looking title at the top. How did I do that? Well, I said that H1s with the title class should have all of these properties, which basically set up the colors and the 3D border. And then I apply it by saying class equals title. And then one that I find particularly important is I want to make sure that when I have a form and I have a prompt and then a text field and then possibly an error message that they always stay on the same line. Well, I do that by putting the prompt, the text field and the possible error message all in the same row of an HTML table, but I turn the borders off. But I want to control the alignment. So in particular, I want my text fields to have their left edge lined up next to each other. If I just had one TD in the entire TR, it would not guarantee that the text fields are lined up next to each other if the prompts were different sizes. So I have three different data cells, the first cell, the second cell, and the third cell. And I put all of the, the input fields in the second data cell so that their left edge is aligned because the left the horizontal alignment of table data cells is left by default. But the prompt in front, I want the right edges to be aligned, not the left edges. It seems more natural than if you've got a space between the prompt and the text field. So I use this entry. If the table says form table, then the first child, in other words, each TD that's the first nested entry in its surrounding entry in its row should be right aligned. But then the error messages, if any, should be left aligned. I didn't have to say anything because that's the default alignment for table data cells. I use this approach quite frequently when I have an application where I have a prompt, a text field, and possibly an error message. I want the text fields left aligned. I want the prompts right aligned. And I want to guarantee that even if the user resizes the browser, the prompts, the text field, and possibly error messages always stay in the same line. And the text field never wraps around to be on the line underneath the prompt because it would be difficult to understand. 